Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ETS2. And I know some of you guys are like, finally, finally a different truck. <laughs> so yes, lots of different things in today's episode. We have pro mod still, but we have a very different route. We are driving from Rotterdam to London because I missed actual pro mods content. And uh, I'm sure that these areas, Rotterdam and the uh, parts of Belgium that we'll be driving through, and especially London, are definitely pro mods quality and pro mods content. So we'll be going through that 486 kilometers, driving with a DAF 95 by XBS. But there are a few twists because we have some custom sounds here. I still have not graduated from Z-Mod sounds, so... These are actually the Cummins N14 sounds from Z-Mod, which are originally from ATS. But I ported it over to ETS2, it made this truck compatible. If you guys want to try that out for yourselves, you are free to do so. Mods list link in the video description. Look under the audio settings, you'll find two rows in there. The first row to download the N14 sounds from Zmod, so that will link you to the selfie site, selfie.com slash Zmods, where you can download the sounds for free. And then the second file will be the compatibility patch, so that you can make those sounds compatible with this truck. And uh, let's see, let's see if the results are nice. Actually, I haven't driven a lot, I've just been roaming around Rotterdam here. I've been enjoying it so far. I think we can afford to increase the audio a bit just so it will scream at us more a bit and then suddenly maxing out the sliders. <laughs> we'll adjust it as we go. Oh yeah, that's much better. So I think in reality this truck really has a Cummins N14 variant although from what I've seen so XBS has his own N14 sounds, but of course I'm more of a Z-Mod uh, fan, fan boy, <laughs> fan girl. So I, if there's a Z-Mod variant, I'll definitely be using that. And there is for the Cummins N14, so I'm using it. Although I think for this particular truck, it's only normally available for the super space cab variant the bigger variant basically but if you noticed our truck is the smaller one but i, I kind of like these small cabs with the uh, with a uh, spoiler i like the look of that i don't know why but it just appeals to me more so i took a bit of creative freedom in there so this might not be 100 percent accurate but it should be in the ballpark. So this engine on this truck shouldn't be that impossible to imagine. So I'm okay with that combination. And with that, I'm finally able to kind of let go, kind of be free of the uh, the Scania R4 series curse slash blessing. <laughs> so you guys might have noticed the past couple of videos last couple of weeks it's the only truck I can drive because it has the best sounds in my opinion so far and yes I couldn't let go of it so next best thing is to find something else that Zmod made and here we are I was actually wanting to drive the Mercedes-Benz SK from XBS as well it's a classic truck also you might see it in the it's not in the mods list yet, but if you go and look at the mods list, link in the video description as always, look for this DAF95, you'll be led to the the uh, website of XPS. He doesn't he doesn't stay in the SCS forums anymore. He has his own website, and that's where he uploads his um, works. So you can get linked there, and then you'll see all the trucks that he has. So you'll see in addition to the DAF 95, you also have a Mercedes-Benz SK. A very nice looking truck. I did not go with that in the end though because the sounds are not to my liking and there is no 
mm, the sound mods I found for it, I think they still need a bit of work. So I am pushing back on that in the meantime. Unfortunately, as great as the model is, I'm really particular about the sounds because I'm as I'm recording this, I have my in-ear monitors, right? I have my earbuds, so I'm hearing a lot of the details and uh, I can really hear the engine well and recording for 30 minutes, recording for an hour if the engine sounds are not good or not to that level that we've gotten accustomed to then it becomes very challenging to continuously record at leaving Rotterdam here also when it comes to the route by the way, before I proceed I wanted to thank Ark for suggesting this combo I mentioned to you guys, oh, I should be on the left lane. I mentioned to you guys that I was looking for a new truck. And he suggested, yeah, DAF 95, which is always great because XPS is an amazing truck motor. It's free. It's perfectly optimized, like SCS level optimized. But you don't see that quality degradation at all. Like if you look at this interior, you won't find any fault in it. It looks great. But it's super optimized and then the audio is z mod so how you can go wrong with that so thanks arc for the suggestion loving it and uh, yes it even has a pdf uh, variant as you guys saw a tandem so we have a rigid chassis and we have a tandem trailer at the back there and that tandem trailer i don't think it might have a dolly. Oh crap. I hope we don't need to park. I don't I hope we don't need to reverse this. Yeah, that's why I chose it. So sounding good, sounding great, looking good. Perfect. So I'm happy with this switch for a bit of variance. Cool. And then why I picked Rotterdam in particular, you might uh, be familiar with that because we I think it was last week yes uh, as you guys might know if you've been in the channel for quite a while I'm a huge fan of both truck sims and flight sims I try to alternate the two as much as I can depending on my mood and uh, last week there was a big update for Microsoft Flight Simulator where they improved the areas of the Netherlands Belgium France Luxembourg and in particular, we explored Amsterdam and Rotterdam mainly throughout that stream last week. And I want to see how it looks. So I went and saw how it looks from a thousand feet up from above. And now I want to look here in Truxim how it looks when you're on the actual roads. If the, the road networks, the ambiance, the vibe is somewhat similar. And yes, I remember from when this uh, area first got released in Pro Mods. I remember that I really had fun with it. Because it looked so good. The road networks were so nice. The signage. I even was trying to read the signs <laughs> and failing miserably because Dutch for me is a very hard language to not even master, to uh, even try and pronounce. Maybe even harder than French. What do you guys think? Dutch versus French, which one is harder in terms of pronunciation? Of course, locals cannot pitch in because you will be biased. <laughs> also, if you notice this company, Sarens, um, probably not sure if you guys are familiar, but I did a quick Google search. search. <laughs> Sarens is apparently a Belgian company, and just so happened that we are crossing over now to Belgium, so we are right at home perfect <clears throat> and granted thankfully pro mods has been retouching these areas that we're driving in for the longest time so i should not be afraid of old road networks for the most part <clears throat> we'll see we will see 90 kilometers here yeah and uh, as we get that pop up, then I'm sure that this is Pro Mods because uh, default SES content doesn't do that. Only Pro Mods does. It pops up when you switch countries, when you switch uh, states or districts or whichever that is that is uh, applicable 
to the country you're in. Might have to slow down here though. We even get that amazing Jake break of the N14. And we get the interior sounds, the uh, cabin shaking from Z mod as well. So all the different combinations. The only weird thing I noticed is I don't seem to have air brake sounds, which is interesting. So I do have Z mod's air brakes, but it might be the truck itself doesn't have air brakes. Let me guys know if you have a similar problem on this particular truck. Russell. Yeah, I remember when I first went through these interchanges in, in Belgium, I had one heck of a time, I was getting lost, it was almost like Spanish level uh, spaghetti junctions, we'll see if I get into trouble again this time, but yeah, really happy that Pro Mods is here, back and compatible with Iberia, Pro Mods 2.55 now in case you haven't seen yet. Romods 2.55 is available. Oh, and you might notice Z Mods freshener. That by default, that accessory is not uh, compatible with this truck. I I tweaked the uh, definition files a bit to allow it. <clears throat> so if you download my sorry, <clears throat> if you download my compatibility patch, then it should automatically. Uh, make that compatible as well. Just make sure you have the Z mods freshener mod um, enabled. And I think you will only have that freshener if you bought one of his packages, though. So that might not be free on its own. So you might not have access to it if you didn't buy his Scania sounds. Uh, one more tweak I did. You might notice I'm a huge fan of this. The phone GPS is also not compatible with this truck by default but if you download my speed uh, limit uh, phone gps speed limit <laughs> something like that it's look look for it in the mods list accessories uh, accessories tab it's accessory section look for it there it should be there speed limit for phone gps yeah i think that's it then you should not only get the speed limit on the lower right but also be allowed to use this phone gps on this truck and it looks like i am speeding is that a famous stadium here i would guess so huh very nice amazing to see because as we were driving in Iberia right we were driving in Spain and Portugal the past few weeks and they looked amazing but here here we are in uh, I, I'm almost sure pro mods areas in these areas I don't think are new I think they've been here for a while but my goodness the quality how they look it's amazing it's like they're still looking pretty modern to me. Because normally, if uh, even if you say pro mods content, pro mods areas, if those areas were so old, then sometimes you would feel the the date. You would feel that they are a bit dated already, because either they would not be optimized, or they would be using old assets, or they would not be very uh, um, like it would not be on the same level. But this one, this one is I think new enough. This probably has come in one of the more recent versions if, if I would guess. Yeah, it's great to see that it doesn't get outdated even if it was a couple of years old maybe, something like that. Still as great looking. And I'm sure, I'm confident the signage is accurate. Hopefully the sounds aren't too loud, otherwise you probably wouldn't hear me at all. <laughs> Might be too late now. Just looking at the level of the audio and I'm seeing that it is getting pretty loud, but I'm hoping that it's still audible. Hopefully that's just the bass and it's not covering my voice. But I do love the, the combination of the two 
from my monitoring, from the audio I'm hearing, it sounds fine. I hope it's the same for you. Yeah, alright. So, I was actually, as I was uh, looking around, I was sure I wanted to drive this truck. Oh crap. Yeah, that's, that may be the problem. The, the bends might be still a bit too aggressive. <clears throat> that might need more refinement later on. Because you need to slow down. Even on those supposedly, I would assume, gentle bends. <clears throat> anyway, so was, I was sure I wanted to drive this truck. I was sure I wanted to drive with these, mo these sounds. I was not yet so sure. I wanted. I'm sh I was sure I wanted to drive in pro mods, but where exactly in pro mods? I was not yet sure. So I was looking around and I was like, "Ooh, Rotterdam! I want to check that out." And then I found one that goes to London. Oh, London! Definitely, that's pro mods uh, quality content through and through. One of the best cities pro mods has ever done, I would say. I'm sure many people would agree. The level of detail, the amount of the, the accuracy and the work that was put in in making London happen, my goodness, that is amazing. And I believe we are going to Calais here. Yeah, we just crossed over to France. There you go. I think Calais was uh, improved by SCS recently, but I think also Pro Mods did something about it. Either they improved it again afterwards, or they made it at the very least compatible with what SCS did. If I remember correctly, one of the most recent versions in Pro Mods had that change in Calais. Can't remember exactly which one. That signage might be. Yeah, I would guess this kind of signage is Pro Mods level. But you guys let me know if that's SCS or Pro Mods. I would think it's pro mods. <clears throat> but yes, I was having a hard time thinking about it. And I started thinking, some of you guys suggested it as well. Maybe it's time for a long haul. Now that we have Iberia, the real estate, the land that we have is much bigger and uh, more opportunities for long hauls. And I looked for the 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 longest route I could find, I found something from Honigsvad in all the way in northern Scandinavia, northern Norway. Right, I think that's where the what they call it. Oh, uh, oh I forgot. Oh my goodness. North Cap, yeah, right? North Cape, is it? Ah, uh, something like that, North Cap. I hope my goldfish memory doesn't fail me completely. My goodness, look at those signs. <laughs> Love it. Oh, amazing. Okay, one second. Uh, I think, yes, right lane. Okay, this is the correct lane. Good. Uh -huh. Yes, so I found something from Honigsvag to all the way to Spain. It didn't quite reach Portugal. I think right right before the border of Spain and Portugal but you can imagine how far that is right from Norway northernmost tip almost of Norway to the southwest all the way to the Spanish and Portuguese border and all in all that's like 5,000 kilometers all land right I don't think there's even a ferry ride in there or if there is like 60 kilometers but the, that 5,000 kilometers is all land distance so that's driving area so maybe it's time for a long haul. Maybe we'll do that in the upcoming stream. Maybe we will do that as a, like a mini series. But interested in what you guys think about it. Let me know your thoughts. The main thing that I would ask from you is which truck should we drive for that long haul? Should we go with this truck? Should we wait for a truck that's coming up? A new sound pack from Zmod maybe? He, he does have a next-gen Scania sound pack that is in the works. He just released a preview video on it yesterday. I'm more than happy to do that as well. So a long haul with the next-gen Scania. Can't get any comfier than that, I can imagine. 
so we can wait for that and then do the long haul we can continue with this truck with this setup we can go back to the 4 series so ideas thoughts are more than welcome let me know in the comments okay let's plan it out I could have started that long haul today but I wanted a shorter trip this time because I wanted your inputs first yeah this area I think is one of the older areas if I look at it because look at the road textures they're quite old you can see the oh, you can almost see the pixels even from this far okay I think this is for the truck oh my goodness the sounds are amazing Cummins N14 Good. I miss driving a tandem. Really wish tandems would be officially supported in SES content because right now these are just workarounds mainly. We are carrying coffee makers, I believe. That's one more reason I really wanted to hold this. I downloaded a mod recently, not so recent, a couple of months ago, from the Steam Workshop that adds. Uh, coffee and donuts to the package to the to the loads that you're carrying and i'm a coffee lover so definitely something that i'm interested in so when I, whenever i see loads from that pack i almost try to i always try to get it and we got lucky today rotterdam to london carrying coffee makers like the sound of that all right let's go from Calais to Folkestone. Oh crap, I for forgot we have to drive on the other side of the road. Might be a problem. Okay, I have to remember. I have to remember that we're driving on the opposite side. Alright. Even those subtle startup sounds. Very nice. Uh, this one is what I was saying. No sounds. Let me turn off the engine. Stepping on the brakes. No air brakes. It's weird. Not sure if I missed something. If I messed up something. Guess let me know if you have a similar problem. One second, huh? Okay. It's just double checking if one of my axles was raised. Shouldn't be. It is a 6x2 uh, tag lift, I think. But it should have been lowered unless I'm missing something. Let's double check. Yeah, but all of them are lowered. Good. So we can raise that, I think. It's been a while since I did that. To press Y or U. There you go. The back axle lifted up. We don't want that. I do want to see how it looks in here though. So if I press U here... Ah, there is an icon there saying that the axle is lifted. Awesome. That's perfect. And you probably use that when you're not hauling anything, but once you have something, it makes sense to lower that down so that the weight um, distribution is even. So in case the sounds have been too loud ever since, really sorry, but at least you'll have kind of a silent trucking episode with humps and <laughs> mouth sounds. <laughs> Maybe make it an ASMR with engine and mouth sounds. <laughs> I really wish you can still understand me though. I think you should be able to. Anyway, I'll, I'll review the footage later. I'll adjust as necessary so yes let me know what you think about that long haul idea and which truck we should go with I'm personally a bit torn whether I am currently leaning towards either this truck this exact setup that we have or waiting for the next gen Scania sounds from Zmod those are the two contenders for me the 4 series I think I'm over with now for now uh, it's amazing it's the best sound mod ever from what i've heard but i'm ready to move on to give it a bit of a mix you know it's as, as great as that is i'm sure people including me are craving for something different you know 
something that's uh, mixing it up mixing it up every now and then okay 64 kilometers 40 miles we don't have a miles per hour counter in here so I'll, I'll maintain 64 or I'll maintain kph and I will just uh, rely on the GPS to let me know what the actual speed limit is yeah, this part I remember because this is the area where you're uh, pretty slow even though it seems like it's a straight road and a spacious road that you can only go up to 40 miles per hour I wonder why I wonder why it, uh, the speed limit here is uh, specifically lowered versus other areas it does seem like a normal highway but maybe because it's something from what they call that Eurotunnel maybe because it's something that you uh, come from and all the trucks are coming from here so maybe they don't want to I don't know they want to regulate the speed of all those trucks I am not sure you guys let me know if you have more insights on that okay London M20 I think is where we're going nice as well because yes exactly Rotterdam and London these are the two areas that I've been flying over in flight sim either as a helicopter or as a plane both and uh, yeah the vibes of these two places I pretty much am it's still a bit fresh to me so yes happy to drive through here very different perspective very different vibe but same same but different in a way if you get what I mean because uh, being a thousand feet up hundreds of feet, thousands of feet up, looking down gives you a diff very different uh, point of view, literally and figuratively but at the same time it gives you that same vibe please don't please send me through, thank you also in terms of the mirror FOV, I'm not sure if my true mirror FOV because I do have it enabled, I have a mod called true mirror FOV but I'm not sure actually if that applies to this truck. Normally, the true mirror FOV I expect only applies to default trucks. Um, but for a truck like this, which is fully modded, I'm not sure if that applies, but the FOV on, the, on this truck is amazing, I think. Looks very realistic, not wide at all, so parking should be easier. Gauging the distance should be easier. I'm just not sure if it's just the truck mod itself having that FOV by default or if you need the true mirror FOV in addition. Let me know if you guys have uh, seen this for yourselves, okay? But yeah, I am liking it regardless. So yeah, for me, XBS truck with Z mod sounds that's the perfect combo because XBS has been a long time master of his craft in creating truck mods free truck mods that are super optimized to the level that sometimes it's even more optimized than SES like almost at the same level sometimes even better and he makes all these traf classic truck mods 40, which is 64 if I remember correctly there you go 64 I wonder if the Jake brakes also sound the same if it's a Cummins N14 as well for this truck does that mean all the sounds coming from the engine are the same including the Jake brake does it does this truck have a Jake brake or does it have a different like more European sounding engine brake if you guys have more info on that in real life let me know but i'm more than happy to keep the no oh, dang it i'm more than happy to keep the the jake brakes you have because that's the most iconic sound from this engine back <clears throat> hope this is the right one okay good approaching london oh that's the o2 arena isn't it ah i'm gonna 
I'm learning, right? I'm learning because I've been flying over it and I've been having bush talk radio. So when I fly over an area, it tells me about it. That one is the shard, I believe. Uh, and this one, is this the... Oh, what do you call it? There is that infamous uh, black wall tunnel, is it? Is it this one? That's the shard, right? I think so. Here I like how you have those barriers. Like you can't really, as a truck, you can't really go there. We don't want disaster to happen. 48, of course, Jake breaking inside the tunnel. Making everyone inside the tunnel deaf. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, London is amazing. Stuff. Let's see what other landmarks I can recognize. Big Ben. Oh my goodness, I will fail there. For those who are those who have been with the channel for quite some time, you might know a bit of history about the Big Ben. Me and the Big Ben were not the best of friends. We actually can't recognize each other. More like I can recognize it. <laughs> so, I always, as long as there's a tower with a clock in it. For me, it's Big Ben. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, I have a hard time really recognizing. I've tried, I've tried very hard, but uh, to no avail, I could say. Let's see, maybe this time I'll recognize it if we pass through there. But yes, all this is Pro Mods quality stuff. And yes. I definitely miss driving through here in these roads. I was sharing in the previous Q&A about the areas that I'm looking forward to. And I mentioned that I would be interested in Ireland, in northern Scandinavia, in Greece, right? Not so much in uh, Russia. Not so much in country roads. More on the highways, maybe. Like this. I guess, now that I think about it, I guess that's mainly because I'm uh, I'm a city guy, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not a country boy. I lived in the city ever since. I am very squeamish when it comes to insects. Mrs. Clumsy would know. <laughs> insects makes, make me jump and uh, squeal in a not very manly way. <laughs> so. Me and, uh, and uh, wildlife, we don't mix very well because I'm a city boy through and through. Maybe that's also a big reason why I am so fond of, um, of these highways. Yeah, probably. I'm a very urbanish kind of guy. <laughs> Urban biased. Let's see, uh, I don't recognize any more of these landmarks. I think I'll need Bush Talk Radio to help me with this one. So down 64. Let's see. Okay, looks correct so far. My goodness, it just looks so real, isn't it? The signage, the turns that you make. Or it's circular. And we have some people from London in real life. Some people in our community like Jack. He's from London and he only he has only braces for how London looks in here. So my goodness, the the detail that has been put in here. And the amazing thing is, uh, sorry, I forgot the developer's name. It's pro mods in general, but there was one main guy who was mainly responsible for making this happen. And from what I remember, that guy, sorry, uh, sorry, I forgot the name. Let, uh, remind me in the comments if you know him, so we can give him proper attribution. But he is not even from here. I think he's from Australia, if I remember correctly, something like that. So it doesn't even. I'm not sure if he's been here in real life, but he doesn't even live here. So mainly what he did was to use Google Street View. 
you know, Google Street View all the way. And he made it so accurate what we are driving through now. So that gives you proof the power of technology and the power of the human mind. That guy is super creative. So thank you, whoever you are. Sorry, I forgot your name. But amazing stuff. This is why many folks cannot survive without pro mods. I've read a lot of comments saying, Oh, Iberia DLC looks nice, but I won't buy it until pro mods becomes compatible. Because they're not willing to let go. They're not willing to have their profiles be removed of pro mods. Ooh, anyone want some burgers? Drive through 2.85. I don't think we fit in the vertical clearance though. We'll have to park this and then we just cross over for a bit of snack. Let's say quarter pounder sounds nice right about now. Alright, looking good. Phew, yes, I think we do have an articulated trailer in here. A dolly for the tandem, so thankfully we're not being asked to reverse in. Just shoot it straight in. So yes, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, quickish video. Hope you guys heard me. If not, hope you enjoyed the silent trucking episode with the uh, mouth sounds. <laughs> but yes, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Looking forward to your comments and let's plan out that long haul trip, okay? Looking forward to your comments and ideas. Let's make this a community driven project the same way that this truck became a thing right now thanks for all your inputs guys thanks for watching have a nice day clumsy trucking catch you in the next one bye bye